Woo. Welcome back to No Filter MMA. This is your boy BJ back with another video. Sure. Guys, I was so tired last night. I just wasn't able to. I could barely even keep my eyes open. You know what I'm saying? I seen bits and pieces of this fight, but I had to go back this morning and watch it, guys. And when I tell y'all, Angela Hill put a whooping on Emily to Cody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Angela Hill is just right out the gate, just fast paced. You know what I'm saying? Technical strikes, combinations, ending with the leg kick, starting off with the jab. You know what I'm saying? The knees and the clinch. Her Muay Thai clinch. That's what really, that's what really ate up Emily Ducote, guys. And, you know, see, and it's, that's just what's so weird about Angela Hill. Angela Hill has that ability to make these girls who look good otherwise look like trash. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't understand what it is about Angela Hill. Like, Angela Hill can make these girls who look good against everybody else, but when they fight Angela Hill, they look like trash. She did it to Jessica Andrade. She did it to Amanda Lamo. She's done it to Emily Ducote. Like, it's, I mean, and countless other people. Jessica Penne has been looking good in her comeback. No. I mean, uh, not Jessica Penne, but um, I'm just, anyways, Angela Hill make these girls who look good otherwise. She makes them look very bad. You know, and even in fights that Angela Hill lost, she still look. She's come. She's come on the wrong end of a lot of these split. These split decisions. You know, fights that she's had. These split decisions that she's had. She's come out on the wrong end of them. You know what I'm saying? And Angela Hill, man, she just put a beating and a pace on Emily Ducote that Ducote couldn't even keep up with. Like Ducote was outclassed here. You know what I'm saying? She was. Guys, we have seen Emily Ducote get outclassed a lot. A, a few. Like, when Emily Ducote loses, <clears throat> she loses very badly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in her, in her losses to, you know what I'm saying, McFarlane, you know what I'm saying, to her loss to Angela Hill, like, her losses to McFarlane, she looked bad in both of those. You know what I'm saying? And then in, and this was another hard loss to Angela Hill. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, as soon as Ducote, I feel bad for Ducote, because it's like as soon as she starts to get that momentum, she gets beat badly. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wasn't, there was a, a loss of connection with the corner. Like, her and her corner was not vibing at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she was, I mean, I'm telling you, man, like, these these fighters, man, some of these fighters just, when they when they, when things aren't going their way, they just fall apart. You know what I'm saying? And Emily Ducote, she falls flat if things ain't going her way. You know what I'm saying? And Angela Hill just, she just allowed Angela Hill to put a clinic on in this fight. Man, Angela Hill beat the hell out of Emily Ducote. I'm pretty sure I picked Emily Ducote in this fight. I can't remember, but... You know what I'm saying? Angela Hill surprised me, man. Like, huh? you know what I'm saying? I don't. I, I wouldn't put all my eggs in that Angela Hill basket yet, man. But Angela Hill still has that ability to go in here and beat these younger fighters, and you know what I'm saying, and stop the momentum of these younger fighters. Like, you know what I'm saying? Her win over Lupe Godinez. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was high on Lupe, man. She outclassed Lupe. Lupe's look good any other time. She went out there and made Loopy look like she shouldn't even be in there with us. And she just did the same thing to Emily Ducote. You know what I'm saying? Emily Ducote, champion, Invicta champion, Bellator title challenger. You know what I'm saying? Come in here and beats former title challenger Jessica Penne and then just get starched by Angela Hill, man. Anyways, let's hope that we can see Emily Ducote bounce back. Ducote is a, a pretty good asset, I think, to 125 pounds. She's a pretty good addition to 100, excuse me, 115 pounds. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm, you know, I hate to see her lose like that, but Angela Hill is just that type of fighter, guys. Love her or hate her. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like. Hit that dislike. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And your boy is out.